Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Hello. So this is going to be a couple of days in the life all mixed together. We've, we're picking it up on Saturday the 29th of October yeah. in the evening because we have travelled to Ascot to go to a fireworks night. We weren't sure whether we were going to get to any this year. Um, because we actually have a wedding on bonfire night uh, where most of the displays are on but we found out that Ascot do theirs on um, the week before so we booked into that one and we've traveled here today and yeah i'm excited i really love fireworks um, i really love fireworks night i think it has a bit of a fair and some food which is good because we're hungry yeah i'm a fan of like uh displays yeah public displays um so yeah we're heading there now we are actually in a queue <laughs> to park so maybe i've spoken too soon hopefully we're able yeah. to park <laughs> i mean the un unfortunate thing was it i think you could get in from four yeah but you'd work fireworks are half six um but yeah i was working till five so. and then we had to drive here so anyway wish us luck <laughs> hopefully we will see you in the field <laughs> so we're still in the car it's now <laughs> quarter to six mm. Um, so yeah. we have 45 minutes until the fireworks start and we are miles away so we, we we're, we've been trouble. sent to like the last car park I think I mean we've passed about six um I've I'm just used to like village firework displays <laughs> so in my head I sort of pictured it as a village firework display and it's definitely not it is a huge event oh no yeah well, I Ascot's huge, so I thought it would be huge, but I thought that people might have already been parked. Yeah. Because we're quite late, but... No, but like, people probably did get here early, but it's taken them, like, it's taken us, what? Since we got to Ascot, it's taking us about half an hour to get to this car park. Yeah. The bit I'm not looking forward to is the... Getting um, out. Is the leaving the car park. <laughs> um, we're hoping that we actually make the fireworks. I know, I'm not so sure. <laughs> We might have to watch them from outside outside of Ascot. <laughs> so if you ever decide to go to Ascot Fireworks... Leave plenty of time. Leave plenty of time, get there as early as you can, and maybe try and park somewhere that's not the car park. Take the day off. So I should have done. Yeah. <laughs> we went today. It's a firework miracle. We made it in. It was actually quite fast once we joined the queue. We've never actually been to Ascot Race Ascot races or Ascot at all. No. So this is all brand new to us. Used for a lot of James Bond films. <laughs> Down here on the ground looking at everybody up there it's reminded me of like the side of a cruise ship where everyone's like on their balconies and stuff yeah
Fireworks have just finished and we're just going back out into the front bit. It's like a shopping centre in here. <laughs> oh, the fireworks are amazing. People are heading towards their cars. So we're going to have food and wait it out a bit longer. Yeah, maybe we'll wait it. Give it an hour, maybe. Mm. Still quite early. Yeah, they've still got the fun fair open and stuff. So we're going to have a look around there. So we got a couple of margarita pizzas. They're pretty small. <laughs> But they look nice. They do look nice, they're fresh. <laughs> so here's the fun fair. Got some twirling, swirling ride over there. And then this is one of those ones that I really don't like. <laughs> Where the chairs go all the way up to the top and then they swing round. I'll see if I can get that. Oh no, sorry. I think they're done for the evening. <laughs> I think they're taking it apart now. Hello everyone, so it is a couple of days since I last filmed, um, I really enjoyed the Ascot firework display, it was really really good, probably the best display I've seen in England, um, obviously Disney fireworks, you cannot beat Disney fireworks, um, but I thought that was really really good and I loved they played the Lion King at the end and it was just for a minute I was like oh I just feel like I'm back in Disney um, it was really well organised as well because when we first arrived I was like there is no way we're all gonna get in here um, there was just so many cars I thought it was gonna take us hours to get in um, but we did get in for the fireworks uh, we didn't have to queue too long to get drinks and food and yeah it was just a really nice night I, I, I feel like I'd definitely go back there um, for fireworks. I really really enjoyed it. But today I've just been at home. Martin is in the office today um, so it's just me um, but it is already 20 to 1. Um, I've just been chilling this morning and we've had an issue with our boiler. Sorry the um, battery just ran out um, but yeah we've had an issue with our boiler. Um, it's leaking water from the bottom which doesn't seem too good um so I tried to get someone out today like our regular boiler people um but they can't come today so I think they're gonna have to come tomorrow um we do have a few appointments tomorrow so I'm hoping it will be okay and that they'll be able to come early um and get it sorted because then this weekend we're away at a wedding which is exciting um so I'm using today just to get things ready for that. I'm gonna head into, I wanna go to Primark. I want a um, short, shorter jacket. I've got a really long jacket, uh, which is perfect for when it's really, really cold. But at the moment it's, it's cold enough to wear a coat, but it's not, I don't want like a huge long coat. So I'm gonna see if they have a nice kind of cropped coat um in Primark because next week I'm also heading to Disneyland Paris this is my work friend trip uh, which I'm really excited about I feel like it's come about really fast um so yeah we're heading there next week which is really exciting so I kind of want a jacket for that um because I feel like it's a bit too cold for my autumn jacket which I wear all the time uh, but it's not yet cold enough for my massive long duvet coat kind of want something in between um so hopefully i'll be able to find that and then i just need to pick up a few little makeup bits for the weekend for the wedding and yeah that's hopefully what i'll be able to find so i'm just gonna head there in a second i think i'm gonna pick up um lunch while i'm out as well i might just grab a mcdonald's um wrap because i really like them on the go so i think i might just pick up one of them and then yeah have a little wander around the shops and then i'll head back and probably by the time i'm back martin should be home from work as well which will be nice oh i'm also going to get my eyebrows threaded as well i'm gonna see if there is um someone there that can do them today hopefully and then tomorrow i'm getting a haircut which i'm really excited i think i'm gonna go quite short so i'll show you on this vlog um and then i'm also getting my nails done so i'm getting full glam for the wedding um i'm a bridesmaid as well so i'm really really excited um i've got two weddings of two really good friends this month um and i'm a bridesmaid for both which is really exciting so yeah it's just gonna be a month full of love full of weddings and celebrating and yeah i'm really looking forward to it so i am home now and as you can see it is pitch black <laughs> you can see our little twinkling lights 
Um, but yeah, apologies, I forgot to bring the camera with me. So I planned on filming a little bit whilst I was out and about, but yeah, I forgot to bring the camera, so apologies. Um, but I will do a little haul because, I don't know if you can see, I got some things. Um, it was quite successful. Um, I managed to get most of the stuff that I needed and wanted. Um, but yeah, it was quite a long shopping trip in the end. I also picked up some bits for food tonight. Um, Martin is just on his way back now. The time is five to six. Oh, and the washing's just finished. So plan, I think Martin will be back about 20 past six. Um, so I'm gonna quickly put that washing out and then I'm gonna start food so that it's in the oven for when he comes in um, because then we'll be able to eat pretty soon after he comes in from work, which will be nice. And then we can watch the end of Bake Off because we have a Bake Off that we need to catch up with. Um, and then I think for the rest of the evening, he's finishing an exciting video. Um, he'll probably let you know a little bit more about that. Um, but I think he is filming some bits tonight. So if we can eat earlier, I think that will be good. So yeah, and then after that, I will do a little mini haul of the um, things that I picked up today. But first, let's put this washing out. So I'm just going to start making a very, very easy tuna tomato pasta bake. Um, we tend to make this uh, when we don't have a gusto or a hello fresh. So I've just popped the oven on and all you need is three tunas, some pasta sauce, some sweet corn, some pasta and some chopped tomatoes and then lots of cheese to put on top. And basically you cook the pasta pop it all into a big dish, grate some cheese on top, and then there you are, tuna pasta bake. Fresh out the oven, looking good. Got a garlic bread. And who's this? A beanie. Hello. So Martin just needs the camera to film a very exciting video, but I thought before he steals the camera from me, I will quickly show you what I picked up. Sorry the lighting is really bad, um, but hopefully it will be good enough just to quickly show you. So I went to Primark and I picked up some new pyjamas. These are Winnie the Pooh. Oh no, I had you balancing on a box and you just fell, sorry. Um, but I picked up some Winnie the Pooh Christmas pyjamas. These look so cute. And they have little Winnie with a Christmas hat on. Um, I then picked up a new like toiletry makeup bag. Again, it's just a little Winnie the Pooh and it says me time. And this was really cute as well. I then picked up two pairs of shoes, both bridesmaid shoes. So the first pair are a silver pair, which I'm gonna wear this weekend. These are from New Look. So they are this silver pair. A gold pair, these are slightly higher and a different shape. Um, but they're like a gold glittery pair. But yeah, I'm gonna be wearing these to a wedding where I'm a bridesmaid in two weeks time. Um, so I needed one silver pair and one gold pair. So luckily I found those. Uh, I picked up some hand wash, some Carex cherry on top. Picked up some nail files. I picked up a new Revolution palette. I love these palettes. Um, they're really inexpensive and the colors are just so nice. Uh, I then picked up a Revolution blusher, Peach Bliss it's called, and oh, last but not least I picked up some fake eyelashes, these are the Isla 3 quarter length light and wispy number 8, 
and I like these ones because they're just for like half the eye so you don't have to bother like cutting them because some of the others are just like really long and um, so I got them to wear to the wedding I then picked up a new case from Primark I saw this and I thought this was the perfect size because I actually don't have a travel case um, this size and it has a lock. Um, the wheels are like those wheels that you can go every way on. Um, yeah, it just looks good. It's just one of their IT luggage ones. I quite like the colour as well, a neutral colour. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring this to the weddings because it's a perfect size for like a couple of nights. Um, and then I'm also going to bring that to Disney on my work friend Disney trip. And then last but not least, what I mostly went for was a new coat. And I saw this in New Look and I loved it because I love the colour. It's like a chocolate brown colour. Um, I was going to get black but then I just saw this and thought it was such a nice, such a nice chocolate brown colour. Um, and it's like a half coat um but it's also shower resistant um so if it lightly rains it will be fine and yeah nice and cozy and um, so i picked that up for autumn winter oh yeah and then last but not least i picked up a card for my friend um she's actually getting married on a bonfire night so i thought this card was perfect because it has loads of fireworks on it so i thought that was the perfect card so yeah, it was very successful. Got most things that I needed. And then tomorrow, I'm getting my nails done, uh, getting my hair cut, I'm gonna get my eyebrows threaded. And then I think I am all set for the wedding, which is really, really exciting. So we had the pasta bake, which is lovely. And uh, I'm actually now gonna do some filming. And there's something, well, uh, something I'm very excited about. It's been a passion project over the, the last couple of weeks. I've been filming every day pretty much and it is finally, <laughs> finally the next brief history video. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, we've got a series on the channel. There's three episodes so far mm -hmm. with a behind the scenes episode on one of them. And it's just, it's me doing like a brief history of a Disney attraction, a Disney ride, but they're not just trivia and facts. There's other things that go into them. <laughs> They're sort of where you are able to like use your like editing and like um, creativity. There's, yeah, in them. yeah. I throw everything at them, shall we say. So yeah, go and check out. There's one about Phantom Manor. There's one about Pirates Caribbean. And there's one about Star Tours so far. And then the next one I'm keeping under wraps until... It's ready. I'm excited. I'm, really, I'm excited to see it because, like, I've filmed bits and bobs and seen you filming bits and bobs, but I haven't seen it all together. I'm excited. Yeah, I hope. I hope you're excited to see it. It's been a labour of love, and uh, yeah, today is like I'm the filming the last bits of me. I have to film some other bits, but last bits of with either one of us in. Yeah. <laughs> so that's and then we've like, done it. that's an achievement. <laughs> Morning everyone, so it is the next morning and I'm just getting ready to leave the house. Um, I have a day of pampering ahead of me, which I'm really excited about, getting this hair chopped because it is in desperate need. I think I'm gonna chop about this much off. I'm gonna go for like a long bob. So it's gonna be quite a change. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just got really thin. I think from wearing wigs, every day as well it doesn't help um so i feel like it just needs a good chop i'm also getting my nails done which i'm very excited about i haven't picked what color yet um i think i'm gonna go for something quite natural quite nude so that it goes with both weddings and also my disney trip um i need something that can go with all of the events and then i'm also getting my eyebrows threaded so a full pampering day which i'm very much looking forward to so before i leave i just wanted to take this opportunity to thank the sponsors of today's video which is skillshare so we have been working with skillshare for the past four months i think 
And in that time, I've taken so many amazing classes. I've taken creativity classes with Emma Gannon. I've taken a whole course about Canva, which I loved, and that really helped with the YouTube channel. Martin's been taking classes on guitar. And then most recently, I've been taking an iPhone photography class, which I'll tell you a little bit more about in a second. But if you're brand new to Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands and thousands of classes. There really is something for everyone on there. And it's just a place to learn, but also to express your creativity. And it's just a place to keep growing. And that's what I love about it. Also, they're constantly adding classes each week. Um, so whenever I log on, there is always something new. Um, so it's something that you can just keep going and you can just keep learning. So at the moment I have been taking an iPhone for photography class um, and this is by Dale McManus. I'll show a few clips now on the screen. Um, but it's been amazing. I'm about halfway through and I've always wanted to learn a little bit more about photography but I thought this was the perfect place to start um, for a beginner because it's just using your iPhone. Um, so it's the perfect place, you don't have to have a really fancy camera. <laughs> I've already learned so many things that I just didn't know existed, such as turning on the grid photo, I've learned how to turn on HDR to make my photos a lot better, and now we're just moving on to shot composition. And so that's all about perspective and dead space and all those things to really make a photo pop. And I'm really excited to try this out. I am going to Disney next week um, with my work friends and I feel like I'm gonna try a few of these tips and see if I can get some really amazing photos from Disney just using my iPhone. What's great about Skillshare as well is that it's completely ad free so you don't have any annoying ads popping up whilst you're taking the classes and also their entire catalogue has subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese and German. So if you head to the link in my bio, the first 1,000 people to click on that link will be offered a free month's trial of Skillshare. So this is a great opportunity to have a look. You can have a look through the entire library, see if there's a class that will suit you. I'm sure there will be. And yeah, let me know if you try any out, but definitely take advantage of that offer. So a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this part of the video. And yes, definitely take advantage of the link in the description box and let me know if you try it out and what classes you decide to take. So I'm back home now, it's been a few hours, I've popped on my um, Udi and I got my hair chopped. 
it is very windswept <laughs> um, now um, but yeah I had quite a lot chopped off and yeah I'm really happy with it um, I like doing like half up half down with it when it's this short as well um, but yeah that's exciting and then I also got my nails done the lighting is not very good but I think I did show you um, in like the little montage I did but they're like a donut glazed colour. Don't know if you can see, but yeah. Very, very happy, I feel. Oh, and I also got my eyebrows threaded. Ta-da! So I feel very pampered, very ready for this weekend. And yeah, I'm getting really excited now. Um, I think today I'm gonna pack I'm gonna finish this vlog and then I'm gonna go and start packing the bag for tomorrow and yeah really really excited um, I need to try on my bridesmaid dress as well and yeah just check I have everything and that is all ready to go oh I did buy something from Daniels as well I got um influenced whilst I was there <laughs> So whilst I was in Daniels, they had loads of Christmas stuff out. I think I filmed quite a lot of it. But they had this amazing, let's get out, little robin. And I just fell in love with it. I thought it was so cute. And um, yeah, I just thought it was the perfect little Christmas ornament. Um, it was $6.99 and I just couldn't resist. So I might put him up already. We haven't decorated for Christmas yet. Um, but I feel like I might display him. He'll be like the first thing to display. Um, but I'm not sure where I'm going to put him. But yeah, I just thought he was really lovely. So Martin is just beavering away. Edit him. Oh yeah. Ooh, a little sneak peek. No, no sneak peeks. No sneak peeks. Um, but I think Martin mentioned that we will have a new brief history on the channel. It will be probably in the next couple of weeks, so keep an eye out. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see it. Um, and I know for, well, about six months now. I don't know when the last one was. A year. A year. Said a year ago when <gasps> I checked earlier. A year ago. <laughs> um, so a year ago and people have been asking for a new one ever since um so i hope you're excited and if you haven't watched any of the brief history videos before um there is a playlist on the channel and you can check them out so i think i'm gonna end this vlog here a huge thank you to skillshare for sponsoring today's video i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next video bye Toodle, pipski. I'll be your